Many of you don't know this, but history is being made at this very moment. Right now, the Trinidad and Tobago ladies futsal team are in Argentina to participate in the Youth Olympics. This has never been done before. The culture, the atmosphere, the preparation is something many people dream of, but very rarely ever see. But let's stop for a moment and go back to a few weeks ago and chat with the man in charge of this team. All right, so the upcoming preparations for the Olympic tournament in Buenos Aires is coming up. We see you guys are heavily in the preparation. How is that going? It's going uh, very well. Um, we've been playing uh, all boys teams from the ages of 13 to 17. Uh, that's what we've been doing with our games. And so it's been real hard for the girls because the speed of play, the physicality, but the girls have been uh, enjoying it and they've been picking up, picking it up. You know, they're, they're doing really well because uh, the uh, TNT kids, you know, the boys and girls, they're very technical. Uh, what, they, what they lack is uh, tactical discipline. And, and uh, that takes time to build that. And, uh, the, but these kids have been picking up pretty well. I mean, because of their, they have decent technique, they're able to pick up the tactics a lot easier. Um, they're good footballers, and, but football is completely different than futsal. Yep. Very, very different. Well, the current squad is the first generation. And uh, with the experience that they're going to have going to Argentina, like for example, we're gonna play two games before we even play in the Olympics. Yeah. We're playing the Argentine women's national team that won the bronze medal mm -hmm. in South America. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be playing the top, one of the top women's teams in, uh, in uh, Argentina, uh, Ferrero. Yeah. So it's gonna be an eye opener for these girls. Uh, but I feel that with all that under their belt, the next qualifications for, for the future Olympics, or the next Women's World Cup for futsal, these ladies will be ready for that. And not only that, it's also gonna help them outdoors uh, with their national teams for outdoors. So it's a win-win, no matter way you look at it. Yeah. How, if you wanna build a futuristic infrastructure, right? From four years old to about 12, all they should be doing is technique, technique, technique. Yeah. And play no tactics they don't need any tactics and this is the problem with coaching and curriculums that there's too much emphasis on tactics if you can't tie your shoes and spit at the same time how can you learn tactics and you you have to go to first grade before you can go to the university you can't just step into the university so it's a process now once the kids are technically sound and they understand how to play then you can start to introduce strategy and tactics and that's later on when they're 13 maybe 14 maybe 15 all depending on their technique yeah right and the understanding of the game so that's how i would focus on later on as they get older you introduce the tech tactics and the strategy yeah. first years technique technique and lots of playing. The thing is, everything is being done opposite. Mm -hmm. The emphasis is trying to teach tactics yep. to win. Mm -hmm. And the kids need to, to, to experiment. They need to become risk takers. And how can you be a risk taker or, or, or know what it is to experiment if you have a coach on the sideline who's put a chain and a big lead ball on the end and doesn't allow you to try things? Yeah. And this is a problem. In the United States, in Canada, and a few other countries around the world, they, their model is a pay to play. So you pay to play. Where in other countries, kids don't have any money. Yeah. So football is their way to get out of poverty. Mm -hmm. So there's different ways to look at that. Yeah. But in the end, 
If your goal is to make world-class players, yeah. you have to create an environment that will develop magical players. Yeah. And the only environment for that is, is to play street ball. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If you look at George Best, mm -hmm. Pele, Messi, mm -hmm. Neymar, Maradona, Christian Ronaldo, yep. they all have one common den denominator. They all played street, street ball. ball. And some of them, <laughs> and some of them played futsal, mm -hmm. which in my opinion for TNT and for many countries in the world who haven't started with, with futsal, use futsal as a version of street ball. Yep. Because if you look at the essence of, of futsal, it is street ball. Yes, it's a very complicated game and there's a lot of strategy and tactics to it. But if you really look at the heart and soul of futsal, it's street soccer. Yeah. So here's the bottom line. And I'll leave you with this. Yeah. Football is the king of sports. Yes. Futsal is the queen of sports. <laughs> the queen needs the king. The king needs the queen. Ah. So with that being said, do you think that you all have everything you need for the preparations? Is there anything is in terms of support and everything else? You know, we, 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 we have adapted. One thing I learned from FIFA, the first three words I learned from FIFA, adapt, adapt, and adapt. Okay, yeah. and, uh, and the kids and myself and the rest of the staff, we have really adapted to the situation. But I, I want to really thank a lot of people out there. I mean, uh, there's been so many people who have helped us. Yeah. Uh, this university, for example, yeah. you know, University of West Indies, uh, Ms. Jackson, mm -hmm. they allow us to be in this beautiful facility. Yeah. Um, all the facilities that we've used uh, for the past three weeks, um, the teams that we've gone up against, all the boys teams. Yeah. So in, in the end, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, that's how you make things happen. Yep. You know, people got to come together. All right. And I can tell you that the TNT people have come together to help us get to where we are. Excellent. So we'll definitely be keeping track of your progress. We'll definitely be around. You'll see us in the stands doing whatever we're doing. So good luck in the upcoming tournament. Good luck in your training. I hope you enjoy your stay in Trinidad and Tobago so far. And we'll definitely be keeping tabs. So it's been a pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more, look at this video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button because when you do, one of your enemies will be destroyed.